hunter's trip takes a turn after they spot a message in the dirt soon uncover a chilling scene when a serious hunter ventures into the woods during hunting season they have one thing on their mind get their target in their crosshairs and take the perfect shot returning home with a heap of wild game is always the goal but sometimes an unexpected turn of events changes plans when Ryle Gordon and his stepfather headed into the Idaho woods for a hunting trip they assumed it would be like any other trip however shortly into their journey they came across an eerie sign that rewrote the entire purpose of the excursion Ryle Jordan and his stepfather Chris Trumbeck loved to hunt and both of them thought they'd seen it all as a young boy Ryle loved talking to Chris about hunting and always admired the massive sets of antlers adorning their home's walls Chris loved hunting so much that he had a second home a cabin out in the woods of Hayden Idaho every hunting season he and Ryle would take a trip out to the cabin for a few days and see what kind of game they could bring back home early one weekend morning in November 2018 Chris woke Ryle up to get a jump start to the cabin they were going to spend the day tracking deer and hopefully Ryle would take down his very first buck however when they arrived at the trail they were greeted by a startling sight there were dozens of people dressed in bright orange vests and several trucks with the words search and rescue written on the side something was happening in the Hayden forest rescuers told Chris a 19 year old girl named Catherine Ogle was missing and she was thought to be somewhere in the wooded area the problem was that Catherine had a cognitive development of a 10 year old so it was imperative that she was soon found as he was just 15 himself Ryle was shaken by the news he couldn't imagine trying to survive alone in the thick forest on his own even though he basically grew up in the wilderness he was well aware of the dangers it posed if you were caught off guard Chris and Ryle headed into the woods after speaking with the rescuer even though they were there to hunt they promised to keep an eye out for clues about Catherine the duo didn't need to go far into the woods before they spotted something that made them stop in their tracks it wasn't a massive deer buck or bear or any animal for that matter scrawled into the dirt in front of them was the word help Ryle saw it first and yelled out to Chris the two men stared down at the letters trying to determine what it could mean to be honest it shook them up a bit having decades of hunting experience Chris's first instinct was that the message was left by hunters who needed help hauling in a massive animal they killed it wasn't unusual for game to be so large it took a team of men to transport it out of the woods however Ryle thought of a totally different theory maybe he supposed it was written by Catherine after explaining the thought to his stepfather Chris's face grew concerned Ryle was probably correct the message could have been written by Catherine as soon as she realized she was lost maybe she had the wherewithal to leave some kind of clue for rescuers Chris and Ryle immediately returned to the search party and told them what they had found a few members of the party radioed to their partners telling them about the message almost immediately a helicopter took off scanning the area in hopes of locating the missing team but night soon fell and the chopper was called off but Ryle and Chris had a gut feeling to investigate one more area of the woods it was an area near their cabin and the rescue team hadn't explored it yet the two men led the way through the night using flashlights at their cabin they slowly opened the front door hoping they'd see Catherine somewhere inside unfortunately the cabin was empty although it did look like someone had been rummaging through their things Chris Ryle and the rescue team began scouring the nearby area calling out to Catherine however they realized they couldn't hear over the sounds of their engines they killed the noise called out once more and listened suddenly from not too far off in the wilderness a faint voice called out hello stunned they followed the sounds until they finally reached a sleeping bag nestled between the trees in the sleeping bag was Catherine they'd found her at last Catherine was clearly overwhelmed by the sudden appearance of so many people but at the same time incredibly grateful she was safe although she seemed physically okay professionals brought Catherine to the Kootenai Health Center for a health checkup 
Naturally, she was shaken up, but considering what she'd been through, she fared pretty well physically. Ryle and Chris's day of hunting was completely changed by the message they found in the dirt. The duo just chalked it up to being in the right place at the right time.